Today we're playing with coloured pencils. So today we're going to be playing with coloured pencils and creating several different images using these pencils. Now if you're new here, my name's Stuart Wood and I post videos about macro photography. If that's something you're into then please consider subscribing and helping out the channel. Let's get into this one now. So first of all, you need to get some pencils. Now I've got these pencils from a local shop. But the first thing that I want to do is start thinking about the type of images we can create. I'm going to go from a basic image to a more advanced image. So the most basic one is just line them out in a, in a row, side by side. But what I want to do is I want to put them in order of the colour wheel. So first of all, let's go check out the colour wheel and see what that looks like. So as we can see from that colour wheel, we want to start from red and then end on purple. So let's filter out some of these pencils. Right, so first of all, we want to go with... Let's get out the main colours first. We want red, then we want an orange, which is that one. Green, the yellowy green into blue. Okay, so we have the coloured pencils we want to use going from red all the way through to a purple. For the rest of them, I'm going to put away because we don't want them getting in the way of our shoot. Now, although your pencils come out of the box sharpened already, they may not be sharp enough for a macro lens. So get a sharpener, sharpen them as sharp as possible, and keep the shavings, because we are going to be using the shavings later on, but we want to sharpen them because although they are sharpened out of the box, the macro lens will pick up every little bit of problems, every little bit of damage. So sharpen them as much as you can. Now mine are quite budget friendly pencils. So as I sharpen them, they do actually break. So I can't get them perfect. So if you really, really want to get good, really good shots, then maybe consider purchasing more expensive pencils. So I'm going to show you how you can do six different types of images using coloured pencils. We're going to start from basic to more advanced techniques. But we're going to start with number one, which is simply lining them up. So for this one, we simply are going to line them up and just take a picture of them, okay? So what we need to do is to prep our camera. So I'm using my Canon EOS R with the lower 100mm 2x macro lens. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert my tripod, put it on the desk, set the camera up, and we'll come back when I've done that. So let's bring our pencils in. And what I want is the label we don't want visible. So I'm going to put that to be facing the desk. We don't want any labels of, um, visible. And going in colour order, we're going to bring that into shot. And we're going to go from red to purple. Bring down my camera setting so I can actually see what's going on. Okay, so... I got that set up. I'm at very low shutter speed for this, so what I'm going to do is bring in some extra light. Bring it into a focus. So I'm going to go for a correct exposure, meaning that I'm using my built-in meter on the camera exposed correctly, so I'm not going left or right of the meter. And then we shall take a picture. What I'm doing, I'm trying to move my little light around so there's no highlights. So if you look there, you don't want to take a picture of it like that because there's highlights. But if I bring the light to the bottom of the pencils or to the top of the pencils, we can get some nice lighting. So I've set up a 10 second timer. All I've got to do now is press my screen to activate the timer and take a picture. So we'll do that now and we'll see what we get. And you can light these with anything. You can use daylight, you can use a torch, LED, flash. Just give it a go and see what results you get. That is shot number one. Shot number two is a variant of this where we're going to turn the pencils so the horizontal. And what I want is I want one pencil from one corner to the other, just like that. I've just spotted something. We're going to do two pictures on this one, okay? I'm going to hold it to the bottom of the pencil so I'm lighting up the pencils quite evenly. We'll make sure that it's focused. It looks pretty good. Let's zoom in to double check our focus. You should always zoom in to check your focus just to make sure you have nailed it. I'm going to pop my f-stop up to 5.6, bring down my shutter, and we'll take another shot. There we go. That's shot number two. Now, a variant on shot number two is to move my light from where it is to the side, giving some nice side lighting, but it's also giving some nice contrast between the highlights and the shadows. Let's give that one a go. And for this shot, I am going to underexpose by one stop. 
there we go. So that is shot number two. So the next shot I want to do is to turn the pencils around and bring the points of the pencils inwards so they're facing each other. And again, we are going to do this in the order of the colour wheel. What I'm going to do is just bring in the red. And I think I'm going to have the red at the top the same as it is with the colour wheel. So I'm going to bring that in. So my pencils have some residue on it from a previous shot that I did. Which, uh, which is why they keep sticking to my fingers. That shot we will be seeing in a minute. They're not symmetrical. If you look here, we have a red at the top. We have a... a a blue green at the bottom yellow to the side which is the right hand side and then we should have a purple on the left hand side so we want to add an extra pencil in there so we're going to go red orange into into yellow into green so the purple one will be opposite the yellow and we need an extra purpley one so our pencils are set up we've added an extra one to make it symmetrical you can see there and I want a little hole in the middle. I don't want the point actually touching. There we go. Okay, so let's bring in our torch. And I'm going to focus on the center point of the image. And I'm just using the same settings as before. And we'll take a picture. For this next shot, we're going to need some tape. And again, we're going to get our pencils. But this time, we're going to stack them in a pyramid. I want the pyramid to fill the frame, so we need to work out how many pencils we need going sideways. So we'll go four, three, two, and then a one. We can get away with that. We can get rid of the pink that we used before. We don't want that. And one, and I want the red at the top if we can. So for us to do this, we are going to have to bin another pencil. So I'm going to go with... Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to bin that one. And we'll get some tape out and what we'll do is we'll stick the pencils to the tape and we only have to do this on the bottom four so what i'm going to do is just line up my pencils and we want the bottom of the pencil the part that is facing the camera to be level and then we'll just get the masking tape and just tape them now we can place our other pencils on top Like that. I'm going to get my uh, colour grading card, bump up against the pencils, make sure that they are all level. So we'll bring it along there and we will take a picture. So I'm going to take my loom cube, I'm just going to add some light in there for it. Bring the pencils into focus. I've seen some of there that I like. I actually like the reflection on the desk. So instead of filling the frame, I'm going to pull them back a little bit so that we can use the reflection on the desk. Now there's a slight problem there because our tape is in shot so I need to snip that off if I can. So there is our shot. We have them all lined up, all ready to go. Let's hit that shutter button and see what we get. Very nice. Let's move on to the next shot. For the next shot we're going to do this. We're going to create a rainbow drop refraction shot. So first of all, we need to get our pencils and we want to put them in the reverse order that we want them. So the red needs to go over to the right hand side. And we're looking at the back of the pencils that will be in the shot. So we need to have the name of the pencils on top. Let's level them off. And again, exactly as we did before, we need to tape these off. I'm going to stick one in the middle. There we go. I'm going to stick two more, bottom and at the top of the pencils. So now we should be able to stand these up. Let's cut off the excess. We're going to need something to stand these up on. I'm going to use an iPad box. And what we'll do is we'll turn the pencils around, stand them up like that. See there? So that's going to be standing up on my desk like that. And next, we're going to need my platypod. 
So I'll just move the camera out of the way for a minute. So we're going to use my platypod. We're going to use a gooseneck arm and a super clamp. And this is what we will use to hold the pencil in place. Now, what colour pencil do we want to use for this one? I'm thinking a black one. I'm going to use a black pencil. We'll place it into the super clamp. And I'm thinking coming in at about a 45 degree angle. Okay, let's bring in the camera and see what we got. So I'm going to take advantage of my two times macro lens and set it to two times, which is a little bit wonky. <laughs> my background's a bit wonky, but I'm sure you'll do a better job than me. All right, so let's get the pencil in shot, shall we? There's the pencil. And I'm actually thinking that's zoomed in way too much. Let's, let's dial it back to one to one, shall we? I need a more of an angle on it. In fact, I'm going to come in from the right hand side rather than the left. There we go. Next, we're going to move the pencils into the background so they completely fill the background. Now, all we need to do is add the water drops. I'm using a syringe here, which just has normal water. There's nothing mixed into the water. And all I'm going to do is squeeze out a small drop and then place that onto the end of the pencil. And of course, you can experiment with the size of the drop. I'm going to leave it like that. So what I want is I want the drop in the center. So I'm just going to lower my camera down just a little bit. We will zoom in on the water drop. And I can see that that is, the background's not close enough. So let's bring it in. About there. And I'm going to focus on the pencils in the background. So now that we have the focusing correct, we're going to work on the actual light. I'm going to light the, just the background best I can. and we'll take a shot. Now I'm going to take several shots. I'm going to focus on the background. I'm going to focus on the drop. And I'm also going to focus on the little black bits that have come off the pencil into the drop. Beautiful. So there you go. That is six different shots you can get with pencils. Oh, what? I only showed you five. I'm going to leave number six up to you. Now, do you remember when I told you at the beginning to sharpen your pencils and keep those shavings? Well, take those shavings, place them on a desk and just start taking photos of it. You can get images like this and like this. Those are fairly simple to do. You don't need me to tell you how to do it. Just go out there and get it done. A seventh picture you could try doing is long exposure. Check this shot out here. All I've done there is I've just gone handheld with the camera, lower my shutter speed, and then as I take the picture, purposely shake the camera. Give it a go. If you struggle getting those type of shots, then drop me a message and I'll see if I can do an additional video for you. But for now, that's where I should leave it. Coloured pencils, simple, easy, but a very fun and creative project for you to do at home. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for their continued support into helping me bring you this free content. My name's Stuart Wood. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. If you have any comments, have any questions, then leave them in the comments below or contact me via personal message on social media. I'll do my best to answer them. Today, we're going to be playing with coloured... <laughs> the pencils got stuck as they're coming out. I'm trying to shake it and like... Ah! How many pins? Pen and pins. We can then turn them upside down and we have ourselves a nice uneven pile of mess. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. If you have any comments, any questions, leave them in the description. I always say description. Like, this is my fifth year on YouTube and I still get it wrong. I want to thank my patron. <laughs> Let's get it wrong.